far have you come in your flat earth realization, Sasha? In what is it, three years now since Mark Sargent who's, uh, have come out? How far have you come? What do you mean? I don't How understand the question. Come? How much have you developed in terms of your personal growth, your personal knowledge, your personal understanding of your home? What do you want, a scale of 1 to 10 or like A to Z? Zed, where did you, like, roughly, what do you where mean? Did you, how far you have I come? Off, you realized you realized the Earth was flat and stationary. You're not moving. So how far have you come in terms of fashioning your own? Picture? No, I didn't. I didn't realize that it was all of these things. I found out that there were information that right, was available so that pointed inconsistencies in the standard model. So I didn't realize the Earth was flat and then go from there. That's idiotic. I realized that there were inconsistencies in the standard model. And so I started to research them. And the more I looked into it, the more I found these discrepancies in the globe model that that invalidated it, that required me as an objective, intelligent, analytical person to reject that model as the true model of Earth because the data didn't fit that model. Right. There so were other models that were a better fit. So how yeah. far am I? I'm at the point where I where I say there are these discrepancies in the globe model that require me to reject the globe model because it just doesn't fit the data. It doesn't fit our observational data. So where, how, what causes the tides, for instance? Well, what do you think causes the tides? No, I'm asking you first of all. I'll answer you after. You answer me. Well, why are you asking? Like, are you going to ask about every single fashion. detail? If you are, if you are I mean, an intelligent So for me, for me, when I look at gravitation and how it works and how the, the, the tides work and the salt water and the soft water, when I look at all of this together as a whole and I de dig deeper into it, what I find is that the theory that the moon's gravitation is causing the tides, that doesn't fit the details in the data. So. I reject that. I reject the theory that the moon's gravitation is causing the tides. So then what does that mean? That means that then I have to look at what are other plausible scenarios. So I could say, well, I think that there are these models where you look at the di diamagnetic properties of salt water um, in response to, let's say, a very strong earth magnet, right? And you can see that there are effects that we can kind of see a parallel between the tides. So I can say there's a model that describes this phenomenon using electromagnetism, and it seems to provide a plausible explanation. Do I believe that that's true? No, because there isn't enough information about it yet to conclusively prove that that's correct. There is enough information to conclusively prove that the standard theory of the moon's gravitation is incorrect. So I can reject that model, but that doesn't mean that I believe that it's true that the that the moon is an electromagnetic disk and that the water is moving out from underneath it because it's being repelled by electromagnetism. I don't believe that that's true. I think that that's a very strong so avenue for passion. more research yeah. because I think that the truth might be down that path. Yeah. I think we ought to be researching that because we might find the truth down that path. That's, oh, that's the difference, a, right? Point, let me give you a pointer in terms of if you're looking for a pointer that is and i take this as a core truth because the, the place i received this information was coming from somebody who had absolutely no reason to lie and he had ultimate experience in the area he was a ship's navigator for 35 years and he told me even though he thought the idea of a flat earth ridiculous after all these years on the ocean and um, that all tides surge from the north so I take that into yeah, but that's record. one person's hearsay. That's not enough to, to build a foundation of truth on. That's one person's story. So what you right. do with that is you say, one person's story. Okay, that sounds interesting. Then you actually have to go and collect more information and right. see if there's anything that bears that out. You can't just say, oh, the water flows from the north. Therefore, there's this mysterious, mysterious no. land in the north that has these whirlpools, no. no. creates the tides. No. No. That's I nonsense. Know. You have Hang to collect on, more information. So I hope the truth is just saying in chat. Ask her how she heard Pete had done the anagram of her name, please. Because I, I was doing something else and I had YouTube on and I just searched Flat Earth just to have a live hangout just to see what's going on. And I heard him say, oh, Orphan Red is an anagram for Hardy Porn. It is. And I had heard it before. I had heard it somewhere before. Someone well, else was there's going another to anagram that somebody's come up with. Uh, I don't care to hear it. I don't care to hear it. <laughs> Again, see, you're laughing. You find that funny. You find it funny to demean people. 
That's we can laugh funny. at dick jokes, right? We don't mind There's laughing. I have a sense of humor. I don't mean to That's offend you. That's not funny. You're understand. laughing at people. You're laughing in at the demeaning of other individual human beings. Where's your sense of the sacredness and the respect of human individuality? It's not funny to put people down and laugh at them. That's not funny. You won't. Funny. You won't. Uh, you, if you're trying to sort of guilt me into something, you won't do that, Sasha. I'm not trying to respect. guilt you. I'm trying I have to point respect out. respect for my fellow man, right? Now, if you were playing Clearly a part. Clearly, you don't. If you were playing a part, you see, you'd have difficulty answering the question I asked you, Trisha, wouldn't you? I have no difficulty answering these questions because I'm an intelligent individual just because I don't conform to what you think I ought to do with my YouTube channel when you don't even have a, a, a significant YouTube channel then what the hell makes you the authority on what I ought to do with my channel in order to achieve my goals you don't even know what my goals are for my channel how dare you impose your goals on me and make me have to do your job have to do what you you believe I should do Otherwise, you you demean me, you degrade me, you insult me, you complain about me. You're not in a position to tell me what to that's do with my channel. Point. You're not my boss. If so that's what I'm doing, man. That's fair enough. I can't help you with that. Obviously, my I'm my not looking for your help with that because you are not in a position to offer problem. me help with that. I don't. I'm not in a position to offer anybody help. All there is is me. So then, why are you criticizing me if you're not in a position to do any better? Why are you criticizing me? You have no authority to criticize me. So I can't talk about it. So, for instance, if me and Jamie were having a conversation about Patricia Steer and ramshackled vaginas, I couldn't have that conversation, right? It's not about count. It's about what kind of person you are. You're not a nice person. And you're not making Flat Earth culture any better by being, by demeaning others and mocking others in order to laugh at them. That's not making the Flat Earth community better. So all you're doing is making the Flat Earth community such a shitty community that all the nice women leave. And the only thing you have left are witchy women and men like you who enjoy putting other people down. And then that community is not inviting to kind, warm, intelligent, analytical yeah, people. So you're just letting all the bad people come in and you're pushing all the good people out. And then right. you wonder why the community is so divided. You said, you said all this, I assume, to Jed Skeptic Media, right? You said all of this I don't to him. know. No, you didn't. Probably didn't. Did you, Sasha? You're all a big I don't little, know. You're all a big little team. And if you think you're fooling me... Um, How am I fooling you? I'm being direct and I'm being honest. What am I doing that's fooling you? If you're smart, then I can't fool you. You should be able to discern for yourself. That's what you mean by that. Let other people talk. You just come on here, shat and crap. You just you ask me to come on. You ask me to be You don't want this. You don't ask me to come on. Stay out of the Stay out of the time. I am who I am. If you don't like me, I'm then go and someone else. He's a veteran from the question. He's a veteran from the question. I've answered every question I've been asked. I've answered every question. Put your hair wings. Put your hair wings. Put your hair wings. Put your hair wings. Joker. Joker. John, can you go on mute? Like, I, I don't need this kind of She comes on here shouting, giving her all that, she's still a crap. You. you think I'm a joker because you're too stupid to be able to discern the truth for knowledge, so all you do is you trust people, and then when you find out that they were lying to you because the Patricia Steer is false, like oh, then you're all when angry with all the women, because you're not smart you enough. All you do is trust people, because you can't trust your intelligence. You're an idiot. I have no time for idiots like you. I have no time for that kind of stupidity. Right, yeah. That people are looking for others to tell them the revelation. If you can't figure it out by yourself, you just trust no, with blind faith. Black. Then you don't oh, deserve yeah. the truth water because you black. can't figure right. it out for yourself. Surface of bodies of water flat. That is ah, don't be so stupid. You're That's going going That's like a like slogan. That's not a truth. That's a slogan. That's not even thinking. You're not even thinking. You're not reasoning. All you're doing is repeating. Can you quit it, please? And go on mute, please. Let me finish my conversation with...
Like, no, we're done. This is stupid. If you're, no, if this, no, no, if this is, if these people are just slogans, they're not even that's thinking. It. They're just trusting slogans that someone on YouTube told them. That's idiotic. And I, I okay, have better on. things to do with my time than argue okay. with someone Listen. who believes in slogans for fuck's sakes. Listen to me, right? I am my own man here. I'm not affiliated or associated with anybody. When I have conversations with Jamie, I have conversations with Jamie. Everyone speaks for themselves as far as I'm concerned, and you know very little about me. Fair enough, you're reacting to something that I have said, but I have said it for a reason. And also, we understand the suspicious nature of this arena. If we're being misled, right, then we need to know you about it. Right? Because be we come from a whole realm of you misleading. You can't be misled. If you're evaluating information on its own merits, you cannot be misled. If someone says to you, this is you. true, it's up to you to figure out whether that's true or not. It's not up to you to blind faith say, oh, that must be true because Patricia Steer said it's true. And then you I find out she's an agent and then you're all angry. Oh, these agents have lied to me. Well, that's your own bloody fault because you should have done the research and figured out for yourself whether they were true or not. Yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. And this is the whole point so of then it doesn't matter if people are agents or not. What matters is whether you take the time to figure out what you believe because you think it's true, because Thank you've you. proven it to yourself, you not because Professor Steer told you it's true. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Sasha, because you support my position exactly. There's so only then one why are you asking me if I'm an agent? Why are you you're saying, oh, orf in E, red, porn, whatever it is you're trying to say. What does that okay. matter? What matters is the information. Okay. Is it a possibility? Is it a possibility? Yeah, that... much hang on, hang on, John. Can I you please not move, John? Uh, just, uh, is, is it a possibility that I am playing a part? Yes. Is it a possibility that you are playing a part? If your mind, if that's how you think of things, then yes, it's a possibility that we're all playing a part, that nobody is now, a real I, person. Okay. So if I believe it's important to find out if somebody I would uh, respect otherwise is playing a part. So in other words, if I found out they but were playing a part. But it doesn't matter. Is it about the person or is it about the information? What are yes. you trying to figure out? Whether the information is true and that's on you to do your own research and your own okay. thinking. Or are you to... trying to figure out if the person is true? Because the fact is, you don't have a personal relationship with me. I am on YouTube. You watch my video. You're not in, you're not here. You're not going to date me. You're not going to be my best Thank friend. So what does it matter about who, like, this whole obsession with who's an agent? What There's should no matter to you is, is the information valid? And that doesn't matter if you're an agent. What that Actually, matters yeah. is, use your intelligence and verify the information okay. for yourself. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, listen, this is the offhand way in which this all came about. So the last video I saw of yours, I noticed that the dodo, in terms of the frisbee and the... the I don't know what the dodo is. You keep saying the dodo, and I've said it twice now and in chat. I don't know what you're talking to about the dodo. Okay, hang on, please. Well, you know, hang on. I have a whole story about the dodo. So maybe you should take, if you want to, pay some attention. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Cause it's can you just story. summarize it? Because it's ten to five here. Okay, well, that's the, that's the only reason I brought it up in the first place. You turn at Gleason's map, so Australia is at the bottom. You have a dodo. That's your clue, Sasha. Uh, that's the only point. I brought up the dodo on your wall, and then I said, "Isn't it?" I remembered uh, uh, Orphan Red is an anagram of hard e porn. That's all. I was going to leave it there. So there was no. Judgment. That's demeaning, integrating, and there's no. You, that's like, well, why would you even say that on my wall? What's the yeah, point of your yeah, disgusting yeah. mind? Your no, disgusting no, mind. Saying, no, again, you could have come up with a positive anagram. You could have found a positive word in that. But instead, your perverted mind looks for dirtiness, and you find dirtiness. And when you can't, you kind of massage things so that it comes out as dirtiness, and then you put it on my wall. How does that make the community better? How does that make more truth? You what put in hardy porn. How does that make flat earth more true that you're putting oh, hardy porn on my wall? How does that make flat earth more hang on, hang acknowledged on. by the mainstream? Like, okay, how does that help? Hang on. By stop. writing the word hardy porn on my wall, how does that help? So how does that, that is help? Like, oh, I'm, I'm not talking, talking to you, John. I'm yeah, not talking to you. I'm talking to you. How does it help? I'm not talking to you. I won't listen to you either. I'm not listening to you. I'm not talking to you. I will leave the call. I will leave the call if you just keep shouting at me. No, I'm leaving the call if you keep this up. Right, okay. Right, okay. Okay, man. I'm done.
Okay. It's nice to talk to you, Dodo. Wait, hang, on. Da -da. Da -da. Hang, on hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Listen. How, okay, there you go.